Hey everyone, I want to show you how to run uh, multiple lineups with our spreadsheet uh, baseball tool. So what you want to do is after you refresh the, today's data and you have all um, your data in there, which you want, you can put um, transfer our projections or um, you could transfer your projections. What you want to do, you want to make sure you have include. If you want to include all the games, you put yes. It's just a little drop down for all the games. Um, if no. You can also like copy this down, make it quicker. And for this for this one, I want to run these four games, just these last four games. I'm playing the late slate here, and you can also says, do you want to include the players in? Only include players in your starting lineup. So like on here, it shows the starting lineups. It won't like it won't include Henry, Hanley Ramirez because he's not in there. That's if you have this as yes. If you put you can put this to no, then it'll include everybody. So I'm gonna keep this as yes got this here I'm gonna put transfer projections and it's gonna send everybody over so it takes you right to the GPP page I'm gonna first show you how to do a regular lineup it transfers all the stats over and it transfers where in the, in the lineup they are and you can include or exclude certain players include will mean that they're always gonna be in every lineup you run 30 lineups they're gonna be in all 30 of those lineups exclude just means obviously then they won't be in any lineup and if you leave it blank, it just means that solver is going to look at them and determine if they should be in the lineup based on their salary and their projections. I've got some buttons here to uh, help you do that. If you want to exclude them all quickly, then you can go through each one by one and, and delete them. If you if you feel like you'd be excluding most of them, you can clear it and start over from scratch. Um, you can even exclude those who aren't in today's lineup. I mean, here they're all in the lineup, but if you didn't do that first uh, option of putting yes for not in the starting lineup, you can do that here. And then you can decide how many lineups you want to run. You can run anywhere between 1 and 200 lineups. Each lineup takes about 6 or 7 seconds though, so you got to be aware. Um, scoring variance, this just means what's the difference between each score. So in lineup 1, say you run it and it's 100 points, point 1 just means lineup 2 is going to be at 99.9 .9 or less. And that's just going to be the difference between each uh, lineup. I have this set just because it, if you have .01, which is like say the lowest you can go, then that just means that almost everyone in the lineup is going to stay the same. They're probably just going to swap in one player. If you have higher variances, <clears throat> you'll just see more of a variation in players that are being used. Depends what you want, but this this uh, options here for you, and you can decide if you want DraftKings or FanDuel. So. I'm going to run four, four, four lineups, this variance, for DraftKings. So actually, let's just make it three, just for this example. When I'm all set, I'm going to click Run Optimizer. And what it's going to do, it's going to run Solver in the background. But it's going to take, it takes about six seconds for each one to run. Um, so you got to be aware. For it. Plus, it also it initializes it the first time before um, it starts even running Solver, which takes about five or six seconds. So if you're running, say, ten lineups, it's going to you gotta figure that'll take about a minute, maybe just over a minute to run. If you're running 100 lineups, that's probably 10 minutes. So what I would do for that case, either walk away from your computer for 10 minutes, or I mean, you can just go on the internet and um, check other things out. Maybe start setting your lineups. Oh, there. So see, I ran the three lineups. It didn't take that long. And we've got the scores here. Here's all the players: 130.56, and here's 130.1, 129.58. One the scores. See how this is um, at least a difference of 0 0.1 between here and here, and so on. And it's greater than that just because there's only four teams or four games, so it's only eight teams to choose from. So you're not going to have as much of variation. Plus, you're only playing people in the in the starting lineup, so it's only really looking at 64 players. So it's not a whole lot to uh, to choose from. So like here's your lineups, then you can go and start putting them into uh, into FanDuel or DraftKings. And I'm going to show you how to run a multi GPP lineup. Say you want to uh, stack different teams. I mean, you can use this for GPPs also, these lineups. But this is where you get to stack different um, players. It's got all the same stats here, where in the lineup they are. I mean, you can even like put a filter on here if you wanted, and say like you want to start going position by position. So you want to look at first baseman. I mean, you can go in here, change your projections if you wanted, um, whatever you wanted to do. 
You can also um, copy and paste your own projections in here. You don't have to use these. You might have your own outside projections. You want to just copy them in. That's fine to do that too. And the main difference with here is, I mean, it's still you get to pick what site. You get to pick the scoring variance, which works the same. Here you get to pick which teams you want to stack. So I want, like, see here, San Francisco 4, Oakland 1. Say we want to just even do that even more. Or let's say, oh, I change my mind. I want Arizona. I want four Arizona players. And then the rest, <clears throat> rest could be anyone else. I'm going to run one lineup. It's going to go through this. And then again, it'll take probably about six, seven seconds. There. So we got four Arizona guys. This is for FanDuel, so it's only one pitcher. Arizona, here's Goldschmidt, uh, Tomas, and uh, Peralta playing. So we got four Arizona guys. And everyone else just, just based off of the other teams, um, just based off their projections. So that is how you run. There are different type of lineups. Uh, I hope this is helpful. If you've got any questions, though, please, please let me know. Or if anything, you've got suggestions for it. I'm still working on making more changes, but um, just any comments or thoughts you have, let me know. Thanks. Bye.